Hey, what's up 2K culture? It's your boy Indy 2K all day every day. AKA all eyes on me. And today guys, I've got my eyes on this smooth set. And since tonight is Taco Tuesday, and I just got done eating some amazing, when I mean amazing, these tacos were just, were just perfect. When I say they were on point, they were on point. Some gourmet shrimp tacos that my wife made me for dinner. I was like Galactus the Planet Eater. I must have devoured four of them. So it being Taco Tuesday and my wife making me some perfect tacos for dinner and Taco being in the smooth set, I figured that's got to be a sign. That's got to be a sign for me to lock in for this set because I'm going to get 100 overall Taco. And I want James Worthy just as badly. I think he's especially worthy of a 100 and I'm trying to form a whole Laker starting five, if not a whole 100 overall and dark matter Laker unit. I've been trying to put that together for quite some time now. So I'm really hoping with this lock-in that it's either going to be James Worthy or Taco. I definitely am not locking in for this set for LaMelo Ball or Brandon Roy. I've had enough of Brandon Roy this year. I played with him enough when I got him out of a free Spotlight Challenge Nebula base pack. I ran with Brandon Roy for the longest and I'm tired of seeing his ugly mug. So I'm really hoping we can stay away from those two players that is first and foremost James Worthy or Taco. Cause like I said, I'm a huge Laker fan and the last thing I wanna put on my team is a Celtic. But being that Taco's like seven foot five and I love big men. Fuck man, pause, no ditty. That didn't sound right. I wouldn't mind putting him in the reserves side by side with my 100 overall Larry Bird. Another reason why I'm locking in for this set is cause tomorrow's set really doesn't excite me too much. Now that's not gonna stop me from locking in the set tomorrow because I do hope to land Will Chamberlain when I lock in the set. So with all that said guys, let's lock in this set. There's two players that I definitely want from this set. Hopefully that's gonna boost our chance of getting one of the 100 overall cards that, that I wanna get because to be honest, this is gonna be my first time pulling a 100 from, from ripping open any sort of pack. It's gonna be my first time seeing that beautiful animation and glow. It's going to be my first time seeing it and I am excited and completely stoked about it. With all that said guys, let's lock in for this set. I already got Rudy Gobert from completing the Smooth Spotlight Challenge. I got a base pack and the deluxe pack and he's what popped out of the deluxe pack. So that kind of saves me 300,000 MT. So I figured, hey, for only 600,000 MT, why not lock in this set and take the chance that I'm going to get James Worthy or Taco. Okay, player number one out the way. Player number two out the way. Okay. Now, let's go over here to my collection. Where you then go to season eight and you go over here, you select the smooth icon. And from there you just select yes. I'm locking in for the set. For some reason, we're in season eight and I still get a lot of people saying, Hey, I purchased all three cards for the lock-in, and when I went to my, my unopened packs, there was nothing there. Well, that's because you have to go into your collection, and you have to actually lock in for it. And that's how you get it. I am so excited and nervous. I can't wait to see who this is going to be. It's going to be a huge capital W. I'm sure whoever it is, I'm going to give them some running time. And I'm going to run with them for a little bit until I get a 100 that could replace it. With all that said, guys, let's open this pack up. I'm so excited. It's my first 100 ever out of a pack. Unfortunately, no sort of jiggle, jiggle, wiggle, wiggle, wobble, wobble, shaky, shaky, twerky, twerky. It just came out with a beautiful, sexy white glow. And girl, I love your glow even more. And I can't wait to flip you over and see if you look as good as you do from the back. Let's flip this bitch over. See what this honey's about. Shooting guard from the West. Oh, Brandon Roy. Fuck, man. The one card I didn't want to get. Like I said, I always have the worst of luck. And it's always something that I don't want. It's never, ever the card that I really, truly want. It's always whatever 2K wants to fucking send you. So I guess I'll probably run with this card for a little bit. And 
and try to find him some playing time. But I'm really not looking that forward into it. But I'm really not looking that forward to it. I was really looking forward to finding playing time for a taco, finding a space for James Worthy first and foremost, and trying to find time for taco and figure out how to squeeze them in. But um, I don't know if I'm gonna give up on any of the players I have right now for Brandon Roy. I don't even think I would take him over my 100 overall Larry Bird. With all that said, peace out 2K community. I do it for the 2K culture and I will be locking in for tomorrow's fireworks set on 4th of July.